Julie, was yeah. there any part of you that thought, what's the funniest place I could move to? And then you came up with Alabama? <laughs> this is why I've never told this before. This is why he's a fucking lawyer, this piece of shit. After that summit video was leaked, was there any talk in the office about it? <laughs> oh, yeah. There had to be, right? Yeah, I don't know. No, there was a big, there was a meeting uh, where, <laughs> it's funny, they did this, like, good cop, bad cop, worse cop <laughs> routine. <laughs> What do you Where, mean? So we're all we're all in the studio, right? This is why I've never told this before. This is why he's a fucking lawyer. This piece of shit. He's good. So, uh, I uh, we're in the studio after the show, and the amount of times everyone gets called into the studio after the show to be told you guys are doing a great job is zero. Right. <laughs> so everybody's nervous, and it opens up with. Um, I'm trying to think. Howard was not there, number one. This was the upper tier management. And it starts with Marcy. And she's the good cop. And she's going, you know, some stuff has come out. Uh, we have an idea, you know, of where this came from. But if anybody here, if it was an accident, if if whatever, you know, now's your chance. You know, come talk to us. We'll work this out. I, she's like, listen, I don't believe anybody here would do something like this. That, that's just my, and everybody's like, okay, cool. And then it goes to uh, <laughs> to uh, Gary. And Gary's like, I think it is somebody here. And Gary's like, you know, and now everybody's assholes start puckering up. And he's like, you know, and, and let me tell you something. If we find out, it's not going to be good for you. It's not going to be good. And then it goes to uh, Jeremy. You know, uh, and and he was like, he flat out was just like, hey, we'll make sure you don't ever work in this industry again, basically. <laughs> How are you going to get someone yeah. to confess? <laughs> God, I love that. So like you're doing it wrong. <laughs> every single person, whether they smoke cigarettes or not, came downstairs to the smoking area afterwards outside the building. And we're just like, what the fuck was that, dude? What the fuck was that? Who was the bad cop? Jerry? Jeremy, Jeremy who, Coleman. Um, who is that? He's one of the executives up there. He was he was involved with uh, a lot of the talk channels, O and A, and then he moved over. He took over uh, Tim's spot, basically. So it was a video that we actually see you in, and right. obviously it was being purposely. Damn it, I, I, I missed that part of the video. <laughs> Well, it was obviously being recorded. Did you see the cameras there recording? No, no, I, I didn't see anybody. First of all, that meeting, you know, as, as eye-opening as it was for everybody who watched it, imagine sitting there. You know, none of us knew what we were going into. Like, we knew he wanted to go in, like, another direction. We had had a few smaller meetings before, and we knew we were kind of going in a different direction, a little bit more guest-heavy, I guess. Um but we had no idea that all these changes were coming and all the, and By these way, people are coming. Can I point out yeah. the biggest takeaway for Shuli after that meeting? She has to wear a button up shirt. That was it. He's really like, what was. the fuck? This is, this is outrageous. Like, well, no, it, I, 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 I didn't have a problem with it till we lost Howard TV. And now I'm like, we're not on TV. I should be able to come in here in a fucking, you know, a, a onesie. Who gives a shit? Does the Jeff yeah, the Drunk so, Puppet have to be dressed up, too, or how does this work? <laughs> what, did they ever find out who, who released it? Yeah, spill no, it. No, they never. Spill I mean, it, Shuli, what's You that? know. You know who it is. Spill it. No, I have an idea. I don't know for sure who it is, and, and I have an idea, but I don't want to say who it is. What's their uh, name rhyme with? <laughs> it doesn't rhyme with Mooley, I can tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. the The recording was probably going to be used for future training, I would think. It wasn't our secret recording. <laughs> no, future I'm not even training trying. of of how not to do it. <laughs> what do you mean? Like I have training. zero. No, I have zero problem with that. I mean, I know people think that it's like the worst thing ever, but when you're moving a lot of people in one direction or another, it's common to have that type of. Oh, there my, was no that that video was not from any type of camera that anyone had knowledge was there. That was filmed on the download by somebody it's a steady steady camera though that seemed like it was set up i'm telling you maybe let's say this maybe the person who filmed it worked in television i don't know maybe (laughs) they had experience (laughs) good point does the name rhyme with mug or was he gone already 
No, it, it wasn't Doug, no. Mug Badstein? Yeah. <laughs> No, you know what, uh, Vince, I know what you mean. I've, I've been in the corporate world. Now you have those types of presentations. My biggest problem with it was that PowerPoint deck. Those slides are fucking terrible. There was just all words. There was nothing interesting going on. At least pick a theme. Make it interesting. Yeah, you bring up a good point that's totally unrelated to this. But if you're doing any type of PowerPoint, I say the max is five words. Yes. I and mean, if you get away with one word, two, but so many people just write and write and write and it distracts the viewer who's either reading or listening. They're not, they're not listening to you because they're reading the thing. But I mean, Howard was making the point there and he's a type A type person. And those are the hardest to give presentations because they want to put everything up there. And then they just, right. and obviously he's an entertainer too. So he, he understands part of that, but to me, the way that he was moving the company, that's it's his business, right? If you don't like it, start your own company and you do it the way you want to do it. Uh, that was that was my take on it. Hey, you just so, want to think of something. Parts. Oh, God. Oh, sure. Go ahead, please. Well, what I was going to say, one of the greatest parts of that whole meeting was, you know, this was a big, big meeting. Like we had, we've only had like one or two of these big summit meetings, every department from his world you know, in one spot, meaning, you know, the people that are offsite archiving shit for them and, and working, you know, in other offices and stuff all under one roof. And so we're all, we're all coming to the summit and we see uh, Mutt, the host of the super fan round table, uh, walking into the meeting with his then uh, girlfriend or wife. I don't remember which one she was. And I'm like, no, nobody was bringing a significant other to this thing. This is a plus one. It's not a plus this one. This is a plus one. And he, Where's the and caterer? He like, he like drove in from, you know, Philly or wherever he was living at the time for it. They, they just made a day of it coming into the city, bringing my wife to the meeting. And everybody's just looking like, uh, so who's going to tell him? Uh, somebody has to tell him. Did anyone say anything? Uh, you know what? I don't remember. Once I got in there, I, I think I was sitting near Sal and I, I was picking up his, do I have a job next week energy? <laughs> and I was just panicking the whole meeting. So I have a question for you, Shuley. Yeah. I got, I'm going to put you on the spot here because I know how good you are with impressions when you're around someone enough. Yeah. You can really mimic their style and their sound. Have you ever done a, a Howard Stern impression? No. Can you? Never. I don't know. I don't can, know. Can you say I need everyone to make ten Twitter accounts and tweet at Brad uh, Brad Pitt? Can you do that? I don't. I don't know. I, I let me think here. All right, hold on. Scott, Scott. <laughs> Sorry. I, no. <laughs> wait, hold, on, hold on. Let me get. Let me get. Scott, you love Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> so write him a letter. Write him ten letters. Tell him you're bald. Tell him to come on the show. You need to I, workshop listen, that. It, I feel like it's it, like it, Lauren Michaels. I told you, you I to couldn't. You fuck. You, I, now, now he's going to critique it. Like I said, I got the <laughs> no, best Howard impression no, 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 no. on earth. What, what I'm saying is, you should work it out because I think it would be good in the rotation. Because no one does a good Howard except for Anthony Kubia, and his is just like the ooh, ooh Robin. You know, I, I feel like that would be. Oh, uh, maybe there's one other one. I got. I got you said it all, Carl. There you go. <laughs> What, what have we done today? <laughs> Set it up. I, I've actually heard Sal do pretty Sal's deep. Great. Sal you know, really Sal good. was so good. He was he was able to trick Eric the actor into believing that it was him. <laughs> yeah, a few yeah. times. And Eric uh, is not hard, uh, easy to fool. Not easy to fool. He knew it was no. high pitch and not Kelly Clarkson. So, <laughs> by the way, Vince, while I have you here and on the spot. We need to do another uh, Eric uh, the Actor episode on YouTube, and we need to get in touch with our boy Jan and make sure everything's all right with him. Yeah, and I'm I'm ready to get back into that. So we were doing a whole series on Eric the Actor, who who I love and mm -hmm. still do, and we're progressing through it. Uh, Jan had some family issues, but in reality, I could have pressed it harder. So yeah, we need to start that up again, and I'm ready to go now. Yeah, That's my advice for a lot of you hear well, that? <laughs> well, your uh, <laughs> your Eric the Actor series is fantastic, so I'm excited that's going to come back. No, it's definitely coming back. We we have to do something, otherwise, Shuli's crawling back to uh, New York City uh, <laughs> to get his job back. I mean, if we don't, it's going to cover gruel. all these. It's going to cover these legal more, fees. More <laughs> gruel, please. I'm I'm broke from stuttering wands. Legal fees. <laughs> Did I see something weird where Johnny Knoxville was in studio, but Howard was in his Hamptons basement and they're trying to act as if it's in the same room? 
Yeah. He hasn't been back to the studio since. I don't know. They canceled my subscription. <laughs> yeah. show anymore. The, the real question, Vinny, is, is Howard in the Hamptons or is he in Florida? I think that's the, the question people have. I don't think I think he's in Florida doing these shows. Well, how ironic would it be is he's bashing Republicans and <laughs> and mask mandates and he wants everyone to be vaccinated, but he's in Florida. Yeah. now. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. And to him, it's I think it's it matters. An, well, eventually it should matter, right? If you're yeah. putting on a show three days a week, you would think you'd be in the in the actual office. Well, imagine busting somebody's balls who work for you for moving out of the state. Mm, good point. What do you think of Shuley moving to Alabama? I don't understand how it's going to work practically. I mean, uh, d d doesn't he need to be at the show in the office? And I know it's out of the way and it's a far commute, but my main <laughs> concern the way. was my family and so that's what i put we first. didn't ask you that no, question we, we asked you how yeah, are you yeah. going to commute to work when we go back to the studio i don't know i don't have that answer right now neither do you neither does howard and the job <laughs> surely you know, get so defensive about this it's just really we're just asking well, i mean in all fairness guys like you you're not living where i was living but right. you moved a thousand miles away i mean there are probably <laughs> places like maybe 40 miles away or, or you mean like you know, new jersey or westchester or, right or, we all found places pretty right. close that were safe there are seven other states between new york and alabama <laughs> and then you <laughs> sit here point. and you move out of the state and you can you get Imagine that. How we, how hypocritical would that be? Is the rest of the staff still going to the office, let's say, on Monday? Will they be in the actual office in Midtown? You know, it's funny. I, I don't know who all is going in and who isn't, but I know people are going in. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how that works and what that entails. If it's sh Because you have to understand, the office has, has to be completely revamped from the way it was. I mean, we were literally sitting side by side with dividers between us yeah. so like you know how it is out there man you have to you, you, they have a fart pod now you go into to rip ass <laughs> you know nobody it's a, it's very t very stringent over there yeah i mean now i think it's okay for for that setup to be i think people realize now you're not gonna die from the flu so wow listen flu you can't even say it on YouTube. Sometimes they'll take it down if you say that flu. <laughs> <laughs> now you sound like stuttering Juan. What are you talking? <laughs> the child flu. People get so offended if you say that in a flu, but I mean, generally we name our flus where they originate from. I don't see why it's such a big deal. Well, maybe yeah, because I've... it actually originated from Fauci. And oh shit, we are we off the air? What just happened? Fauci flu. <laughs> And I know it's out of the way and it's a far commute, but my main <laughs> yeah, concern the way. was my family. And so that's what I put We first. didn't ask you that no, question. We, we asked you how yeah, are you yeah. going to commute to work when we go back to the studio. I don't know. I don't have that answer right now. Neither do you. Neither does Howard. <laughs>